So, on the Friday, or the Thursday, Friday if you're in Ireland, Thursday on the UK, Sam Mitchell departed the square. She's gone after pretty much being shat on by literally everybody. Bird shit everywhere. She's crying. She's sad. But she had a nice little exit as she's off to Spain to go run a hotel or something. What do you think of Sam's exit, Piggy? Sort of the, the obviously we're recording this before the podcast for people who don't know, but um, and this would probably be brought up in the podcast. But you should have, she should have had the final scene of the week. It shouldn't have been Stacy crying in a room like, oh, I've, I've got to whack up the bats, I've got to whack them out, and like, yeah, I'm like, no, I'd rather Sam Mitchell, even if it's only like for two or three months that she's gone. Yeah. And before that, like we we have all the sad scenes, and then we're like, "Bye, Sam." And then you got uh, <laughs> Ricky crying. Ricky, not not Ricky, but Ricky, Ricky, Ricky Junior. We have Ricky Junior crying. We have Zach crying and going, "Who am I going to tell I'm HIV now?" And then you yeah. have like Jack just stood there like. Rrr. <laughs> that's what I would have preferred. I don't want the ending to be like, "Well, Sam's gone." Now look at Stacy as she cries and has to get her tits out. You know, like. These scenes do not go together. Yeah, like, that's very I can't, true. Like, I can't be like, oh, poor Stacy. I'm like, Stacy, you're not being forced to do it. <laughs> like, um, Sam's uh, not forced to leave. She just left. I mean, Stacy kind of is forced to do it. But, you know, I think I was I was really, I was getting quite, quite upset at, the, at everybody just shitting on Sam. Because fundamentally, she, she does mean good. And she does try hard to like live up to what she, what people expect of her. She's just, you know, fundamentally, she's not a very good mom, and that's fine because not everybody is. Some people are dickheads. Um, mm-hmm. Some people struggle to actually take care of a kid, and that's fine because honestly, she doesn't really need to be a good mom. Why? Because you have Jack there. <laughs> holding up the fort and he's barely a good dad either so <laughs> um but i think it was nice for her to actually actually get some nice treatment this week because ultimately she's just she just never really gets her due as a character she's always like the laughing stock in terms of phil she's always a bad mum in terms of ricky like when the fuck is sam gonna get some respect when Ricky Butcher comes back. One thing that was nice, though, it was nice that uh, she actually has a friend now. She has Honey. She has both oh. a male friend and a woman friend. So she has Zach and she has Honey. So it was nice to... And it also, it leads to the best dynamic where Honey will continually be like, Ah, oh, Phil, what you doing? You prick. <laughs> it's like, oh, all right, Honey, I love you Oh, I what, love that. I lo- what are you doing, I just Phil? Love that. Washing your hair? <laughs> she she does not care, and understandably so. But it's, I, it's, it's sorry to say this. I just love how all the, the Mitchells are happy, glad, and then Honey's like the one stepping to Phil. It's not Sam being like, "Well, you dickhead." It's Honey. It's yeah. Really, Honey being like, "Well, you dickhead." My hair. <laughs> My uh, husband has gone to Spain because of you. To be fair. F you. Can't you really complain about that? He's not going to jail and he's going to Spain to earn a bunch of money. Yeah, probably probably not the best time. And like Lola is dying and he doesn't know, which is something we are going to see very soon. When Billy returns yep. and Lola has to go, yo, I'm dying. And then Billy's going to be like, no, you're not my daughter, but I wish you were. Um, and then just just because they're petty, they're gonna put a middle finger up to Emma or something. It's in spirit, it's a middle finger across the Pacific, <laughs> all the way to America, <laughs> where she now resides. How have we found Sam over uh, over this this year so far? Do you reckon? How has she been as a character? She's been a good character. Possibly one of my favorite highlights of the show, because whenever like like Phil, because Phil, it's either Phil, Stacy, Jean, or Sam, or Freddie. 
or Alfie who get the best lines of the week. Mm. So it's like it's always nice when Sam pops up because we're like, oh my god, she's gonna have a banger line. We're all gonna laugh, and then we're all gonna bully her. But then we're all gonna laugh. Yeah, honestly, Sam's writing is probably some of the more entertaining stuff for the show because she usually just does some like kind of sure of herself but kind of half joking one liner. Like I like I remember I think it was last week with Keanu looking all sad and and she she's just like mate I can suck a pencil and stare at you if you want you're gonna have to talk to me Keanu it's just <laughs> like basically one thing I can say Daniela Westbrook can fuck off <laughs> she is the original Sam Mitchell but Kim Medcalf portrays her in a way that I don't think the other actress could ever really pull off. She's like this like strong, respected, but also very like vulnerable character. But you know, still like lives a good life, like treats herself and so yeah, Dan Daniela Westbrook, I know it's probably blasphemy to some people, but she is a mess. And Are they I'm her glad back? No, no, no. It's just, it's just. I'm just comparing the two, because Probably. you know, one's the original Sam Mitchell, and one is probably the definitive Sam Mitchell, and that is Sam Medcalf. Obviously, she isn't leaving for like fully. Uh, she is gonna come back probably later in the year once the baby pops out. Um, and out of the oven. yeah, bun out of the oven. Uh, and she's likely gonna actually become a bit more of a better, like, grandparent to the to the child than she is a mum to Ricky. So it'll be fun to see. Uh, and yeah, what do you think of Sam Mitchell? Do you prefer Kim Medcalf as the actress? And when do you reckon she's gonna show back up? Will it be bad timing, or will it just be like perfect EastEnders drama? I have been Ash from watching Wolford. I've been joined by Piggy. And I, yeah, I've been here chewing on peanuts. Um, that I hope the mic didn't pick it up. Um, so yeah, subscribe, you slag. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers for stopping by. Make sure to watch the next videos on the channel.